Hey my friends, Matt from Rancliffe Media here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save precious hard drive space by trimming your video files in DaVinci Resolve. When you're working with 4K, 6K or even 8K footage, especially in log or raw format, you're going to notice that your hard drives fill up pretty quickly and you're going to end up having to delete files constantly. So it's very important to know how to do this to save space. To begin with, we're going to create a new project. I'm just going to call this 6K be raw trim. Now, the first thing I like to do is I like to just create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new bin. I'm going to call this uh, 6K B raw trim footage. Call it whatever you like. Now I'm going to go back to my hard drive where I'll be grabbing all my footage from. Now, what I like to do firstly is I like to take the folder name that I'm going to be getting the footage from and just copy that file name, create a new folder, and I'm going to put trimmed at the end, just so I know that that's the footage I've trimmed, which is going to go in that folder. Now I'm going to be editing off this hard drive here. This is a Samsung T5 drive. And I just want to make sure that I'm going to have enough space when I export my trim footage and I'm not going to run into problems with not enough space on my drive. So this folder is 215 gig. And when I trim it, it's going to be a lot less than that and I have 470 gig free on my drive, so I definitely have enough room. Now I'm going to go back to DaVinci Resolve and I'm just going to import my footage into this folder here. So I'm just going to open the folder, I'm going to go Import Media and I'm just going to go to that drive again, go to my footage, uh, select on my footage and hit Open. I'm not going to change my frame rate and I want to make sure that I'm dropping this footage onto a timeline that matches the same settings as my footage that I shot it in. So to begin with, I'm going to go back to my master. I'm going to create a new timeline. And I'm going to call this uh, 6K B raw trim again. And I'm going to untick use project settings. I'm going to go to format. Now, depending on the resolution of your footage and what you shot it in, you can use any of these presets here. So if you shot it in just Ultra HD 4K, you can use this preset. But I'm gonna use a custom preset because I shot this in 6K with my Blackmagic Pocket 6K. So my resolution is 6144 by 3456. And you also wanna make sure that everything matches. So my timeline frame rate will be 50 frames per second because that's what I shot it in. I'm just gonna hit create. Now all I need to do is drop my footage onto my timeline. So the way that I like to do it, which I found is the fastest personally, is rather than just simply opening individual clips and dropping them in, I found it to be a lot faster if you do it all in one go. So I'm just gonna go Command A and select all my footage, drop it onto my timeline like so. I have all my footage here all ready to go. Now what I like to do is I just like to go through each clip and simply trim uh, the bits out that I don't need. So that might be just the beginning. So in this case, I'm gonna trim the beginning of this clip. So I'm just gonna hit Shift Command left bracket on my keyboard. Or if you're on a PC, that's Shift Control left bracket to trim left side of the playhead. And go to the end of my clip and hit Shift Command right bracket to trim the right. And I'll just proceed through each of my clips doing this one by one. So you can do it pretty quickly. Shift command left bracket, shift command right bracket. Keep on going through them like so. Okay, so I've only just trimmed a small amount of my footage. And now what I wanna do is, once I've trimmed all my footage, I wanna select all my clips. So just command A again, selected all my footage. Now what I'm gonna do is go to file, media management. And you wanna make sure that you're on clips. You gotta your clips selected. There's a few different options here. There's also timelines. I like to use the clips and you don't wanna be transcoding, you wanna be copying. So you're gonna, it's gonna copy the footage and it's gonna trim it at the same time. So the next thing you wanna do is choose a destination where you're gonna export your footage. I'm gonna to go to browse. I'm gonna choose my hard drive. I'm gonna export into that folder that I created called trimmed. It's gonna hit open. Now there's a couple of different settings here you can choose. I like to choose selected timeline clips. 
can also export straight from your media pool if you like. But that's the way that I've done it so that I'm exporting all my trim clips that I've got selected. And I like to select this use media and keep trimming, but I just set this to zero. And I don't want to put it in a, in a project subfile, so I'll un uncheck that as well. And now you'll see that once you've done those settings and you've selected your file and it's all ready to go, you'll notice that it says current size, the original size of your footage and new size. So just by trimming those few clips, I've already saved five gig worth of space. And if I were to trim the entire lot, I'd be saving a lot more than that. So you can actually save, you know, 10, 20, 30 gig worth of space if you've got a lot of files there. And once you're ready to go, all you do is hit start and it's just gonna export all, a copy of all the footage. And I'll just show you guys just for the sake of this. So it's gonna hit start and I'll give you a little progress bar. It'll say, you know, one of 48 clips or whatever. Once that's done, then you, all you need to do is go back to your folder where you've um, exported the footage, where it's trimmed it all. And you'll see that when I go back to my folder here, you'll see that it's just putting all the clips in here. And what I like to do before I go and delete the original footage, I just like to make sure that this is all looking all right. So I just open one of the clips and just play through it. Just to make sure it's, it's working okay and everything looks good. And then you can go ahead and delete your original folder once you're happy with, with that. And that's just gonna save you a lot of space. Well, that's all we've got time for guys. I hope you found this video really helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. I really appreciate all your support guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have an awesome day, see ya.